What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here in North Carolina. We came all the way to North Carolina to Halloween hunt, and we are at a Halloween Express right now, and this might be the weirdest location that we've ever done a Halloween hunting. Not only is it out of state, which we don't do very often, but it's in a tent and a parking lot. So uh, we're gonna go make the best out of this. We're actually not here just to Halloween hunt. Corey just spent like five or six hours getting his entire arm tattooed and he was still nice enough to let me come to this place and try to shoot some content on this trip. So shout out to Corey. Let's see what the Halloween Express has to offer. Okay, so right off the rip, this place is super sick, way cooler than I expected a pop-up, a literal pop-up Halloween store in the middle of a mall parking lot to be. And you know what? This thing's in a tent and it's making me pitch a tent because it's pretty sick. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep exploring and look around. We were told that this was like a spirit Halloween, but it's really not. This is super, super mom and pop-ish and uh, maybe a touch of spirit Halloween, but I'm super impressed and we haven't even really seen anything yet. So let's go.
to feel like you're walking through a store, but also that you're walking through a parking lot while it's raining. Alright, let's talk about something important. Some masks just shouldn't exist. And these are a couple good examples. Just because you can, doesn't mean that you should. Okay? Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, we are back in the car now and we had to brave a storm, obviously as you guys saw in there, to get back out to the car and that wasn't fun, but everything else about that experience was great. That was a really cool surprise, a really nice little pop-up place that I definitely did not expect to be that legit. Uh, I did end up buying some stuff, which I will show you when we get back to the Airbnb, but I just wanted to let you guys know that if you're in the Asheville, North Carolina area, you should probably come check out the Halloween Express because it was pretty legit. That was legitness. Yeah, it was, huh? We are going to head to a restaurant and I will check back in with you guys when we get to the Airbnb after all is said and done, show the stuff off and that will be that. So see you in a sec. All right guys, we are back at the Airbnb and I am ready to show you guys exactly what we got at the Halloween Express. First up, we've got this dripping, bleeding brain prop, kind of a mask for your head. Maybe it's a hat, I don't know. It says it's a prop, I guess that's correct. And uh, not only do I just really like the packaging on this, I think that it's a cool concept, uh, but it's also a little bit of foreshadowing for Pale Fest. So I'll leave that up to your guys' imaginations. Uh, I bought this because it is cheap and I want to start working on a very special Halloween store type setup display at the building, probably right after Pale Fest. And I think that this thing is going to fit in there great. This just screams 90s Halloween to me, and that's exactly what I'm going for. So that was the first pickup. The second pickup was this Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 2 mask. And these are the newer copies. I think they just got released this year. And as you can tell, this looks a little different than all of the other official Halloween 2 masks that they put out. This thing had a really weird look. Obviously, I didn't buy this for accuracy. I have like $500 to $1,000 Myers masks back in my collection, but I just thought that this one had a really strange look. And uh, for 70 bucks, you know, why not? These things don't really lose or gain any value. And I just thought that this one looked kind of strange. So I went ahead and picked that up. And last but not least, we've got this Scream Ghostface 25th Anniversary Collector Set here. Just thought that this would look nice in my very, very small Scream slash Ghost Face collection. So we've got these three items. And then, uh, how could I forget, probably the most important thing, the owner of the Halloween Express gave us free Mr. Pibbs. So we walked out of there with some free Mr. Pibb, Mr. Pibb for the win. So there is my haul. And that was just a really cool thing, really cool little experience. Glad that we got to go do that. And uh, that alone made the trip entirely worth it for me because I think that that place was really cool. Definitely had a nice vintage ma and pa type shop Halloween vibe. And I really, really liked that. And it was weird to see a tent in the middle of a parking lot. You walk in and it's way bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside. 
that's what she said. So yeah, really, really dug that. Hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. And that is going to pretty much do it for today's video. I guess uh, we'll do some sort of update whenever I get started on the project that this includes. But for right now, we are going to crash out and we have a six hour drive ahead of us starting at 6 a.m. in the morning. So thank you guys for watching. And until the next time, we will see you later.